you guys thank you for tuning in to today's video so as you can tell by the title we are jumping into our sephora spring saving sale <laughs> um i have currently i have about 13 products in my cart so i am gonna do like a rundown of all of the things that i plan on picking up and this is just for now um it could change but so far here are the products that i have in my cart also i did go ahead and apply for the sephora squad for the year 2022 all of the information is listed in my description box if you guys could please leave me a cute little testimonial um it's just it would be an honor and a dream um to really work with sephora i know that i'm not one of the you know, I'm not one of the YouTubers that's up here, but um, I do appreciate Sephora for even allowing us smaller content creators or just makeup lovers to even enter. So me being able to just even enter and seeing the amount of testimonials that I currently have, it's truly a blessing and I'm grateful um, to my family, you know, for even riding for me, for those of them that do, but no shade, no tea. We are gonna go ahead and get into all of the products that are currently in my Sephora cart for the sale. So let's jump into the video. Okay, you guys. So for starters, I do have so LYS Beauty came out with some new um what are they called? <coughs> Excuse me. I sound very stuffy. I am just like this weather is not it's not it. But they came out with the new higher standard satin matte uh, cream blushes. So they did come out with two new shades. Um, the shades that I do have in my cart are Humble and Epic. So Epic is like a reddish orange tone and Humble is a pink tone. I do have the Dior Forever Matte Foundation with SPF 15. And also the Dior Forever Skin Glow Foundation with SPF 15. Um, do I need two Dior foundations? Probably not, but let's keep rolling. Um, I do have three shades of the new Huda Beauty Cheek Cheeky Tint Cream Blush Sticks. So these range for $25 each. Um, as far as the LYS blushes, they're $16 each. The Dior foundations are $52 each. I know. I know. Um, but the shades in the Huda Beauty uh, blush sticks I have are Batty Berry, I have Proud Pink, and then I also have Coral Cutie. Um, so again, I don't necessarily need, honestly, I really don't need anything else. Um, but that's why we declutter. Um, and you guys will see I did do a full declutter video. So I decluttered some stuff. So I can make room for the new stuff. If you get what I'm saying. Um, next I do have the new Dior Backstage Concealer. Um, it was very interesting to me. The like how the applicator is like actually like a brush type of uh, tip. But I think I've only seen two people use it. Uh, which is Babs Beauty and Matt Dillon Jenny. So um I definitely wanted to give that a try that is retailing for $29 I also do have the Dior backstage face and body foundation that retails for $40 so that foundation I feel is uh, it's definitely one of those foundation that I feel like a lot of people go for that are makeup artists between that and like NARS products and Maybelline of course um, but I really wanted to I have always wanted to try it it's not new but it's just something that always intrigued me. I wanted to really use it and see like the coverage and all of that stuff when it comes to that foundation. And if it's different from the newer Dior foundations that I also have in my cart. Next thing we have the Patrick Ta Major Volume Plumping Lip Gloss. And I have the shade Superficial. So that's retailing for $24. I want to say this is probably the only, yeah, this is only lip product that I have in my cart. As far as like lipsticks, lip glosses, I honestly do not need. Um, I recently ordered some things during the Ulta sale and Jaclyn Hill uh, liquid lipsticks were actually on sale for like $10. So obviously Ulta was doing certain products every day, 50% off. And I did go ahead and pick up four of those liquid lipsticks. Um, 
I will go ahead and use those in an upcoming video and just kind of explain how I feel about them personally because I do know that her liquid lipsticks had some mixed reviews when I was reading up on them but yeah we're gonna go ahead and get into that in another video so last but not least currently I do have two concealers um, the Ilia true skin serum concealer with vitamin C I have the shade Kava and that's retailing for $30 and I felt like I'm missing something. Oh, I did have the Ilia True Skin Medium Coverage Serum Foundation with Niacinamide. So that was the more recent um, launch for Ilia. And that retails for $54. So I do have the foundation and concealer for that because I wanted to test both of those out as well. And just kind of get my own take on them. If I keep looking down, I'm looking at my computer um, on my Sephora to see everything that I currently have. The last thing I do have which just came out is the Lawless Conceal the Deal Full Coverage Concealer. I did add the shade Goldie into my cart. It is a medium with golden undertone. Um, so that one retails for $26. Currently my cart is at $414. <laughs> yes, I feel like we all go crazy with these Sephora sales. So I know for me, I am a Rouge member, so the sale will start on this Friday, April 1st. Um, and Rouge members get 20% off, VIB members get 15% off, and Insiders will get 10% off. I do know that the dates are different um, for each level, and I will definitely have that information in the description box, if not on the screen. Um, there are some other things that I do have like in my wish list that I wanted to pick up. So um, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, I don't know if I should add them to the cart yet. But I do know, um, I do have like the Briogeo, they have a new Scalp Revival Danger Relief Charcoal Shampoo. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and pick that up as well. Now, I, I won't necessarily say that I struggle with like dandruff. But ever since I've had my last child, my scalp has been very, very dry. So I don't know that this would necessarily uh, be the best thing for me. I did also add the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Rice Water Protein Moisture Strengthening Treatment. So if you guys know of any good hydrating uh, shampoos and conditioners out there that I can maybe try because that's really what it is it's like I can wash my hair condition it I will moisturize it put leave-in conditioner all of that stuff and my scalp is just really really dry so um, I was trying to see if it's something that I can kind of correct before having to go to the doctor for it so um, I'm not sure if it if it could be stress um, I did up my water intake so I'm hoping maybe that will help as well um, there were some perfumes that I also had in my cart like the Gucci flora I think this is a um, one of their newer ones and then um, I did have the NARS blush in exhibit a which is like a red blush that I definitely see a lot of people raving about um, so I wanted to go ahead and pick that up. Also the Dolce & Gabbana Dolce Lily perfume. There were some other skincare and hair products but not 100% sure yet if I'm going to grab those. And then there were also these Ultimate Gel Waterproof Eyeliner Pencils from the Sephora Collection. I did have one, two, three, four, five, six shades in my current like wish list. So I'm just trying to decide if I want to go ahead and add those into the cart as well. So the the other thing is that I just mentioned outside of what's already in my cart. If I go ahead and add those, I'm probably already at about a good six hundred dollars. Um. So yeah. Currently, that is what is in my Sephora cart right now, waiting and ready for the sale. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys plan on picking up. I am personally very excited because, you know, just that spring savings. You know, 20% off of something that you may have had your eye on. And I have really, I feel like I haven't been recording much because I've really been trying to wait and hit these sales for everything new that is launching um, to make sure that I get them and um, 
you know that way I have some more products to use for some upcoming content I did go ahead and order the new Norvina volume 6 palette off of Anastasia Beverly Hills so that is coming stay tuned for that let me know also uh, that's kind of sidetracked from the Sephora sale as well as the new Morphe blush collection let me know if you guys are filling that collection if you're gonna pick it up or not if I should and maybe review it for you guys just so you could kind of have an idea I kind of feel like I have so many tones of that new Morphe collection but it doesn't hurt to pick it up I will do it for you guys if you want to see it um, and then just let me know of some other things that maybe I have missed because I just been kind of out of the loop um, lately my little one has been sick I'm starting to feel a little congested so yeah yeah um, <laughs> but that is it for today's video you guys thank you so very much for tuning in I hope you all enjoyed have a blessed one don't forget to subscribe to my channel leave a comment down below and give this video a huge thumbs up you guys be safe out there stay blessed stay healthy stay hydrated and I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye.